My name is Felicia Robertson, and I'm a person in long-term recovery. How I came to meet Bridgen was in the process of that recovery. I was just fresh out of prison. Um, I didn't have furniture, didn't even know what it meant to sit on it in a while. You know, seven years, nine months is a long time. So when I got help and got my first apartment, you know, I had a minimum wage job and I really didn't know how I was gonna get furniture for my children. They had already been through a lot and I really needed this to be special. I really gotta change what I'm gonna do with my life when I get out. What does this look like for my children? What difference will I make? I got a call from a social worker that said, I'm gonna send you to a place called Bridgen. At this time, I w had no idea what Bridgen was, but they said they'll help you with um, a lot of your household needs and, and furniture. But when I got to Bridgen, I got this amazing experience. You're already feeling kind of low because you know you feel like you're getting a handout and it's different for you from what you come from. But Bridgen didn't make me feel like I was getting a handout. On this day, they were saying, no, Felicia, you get what you want. That, that's what we're here for. So when we finally got inside of the house, I was looking at my babies and we, we sat on the couch and I sit here, I say, I'm, I'm in my house, on my furniture, with my kids, enjoying our time together. And, and that was like one of the amazing things that I had done since I had been released. We had our ups and downs. I lost the first place. Over those nine years, we'll say we move into a second year. So I'm back stable in, in, in an apartment and didn't have any furniture. And amazingly so, Bridgen was there a second time. And it was just that little bit of, I would say that little bit of hope and that little bit of empathy and understanding that people do fall on hard times even when they're trying to do their best. That was my second um, encounter with Bridgen. And then amazingly the third, um, I lost my 18 year old to a fentanyl promethazine overdose. So we wanted to give back to the community, uh, which is what I know she would have wanted. So in doing that, we opened the Star J. Thomas Runaway Prevention Program, and we turned the home into a shelter. And as I was trying to find things uh, put in the shelter, I was at a social worker conference, and I saw Bridget at a table. I just wanted to tell them how much I appreciate them and the work that they do in the community. And I say, oh, now I get a chance to do this in the community because of you. You've inspired me to learn how to give back, to learn how to receive help, to learn how to give it. And telling my story, he says, oh, here's my card. We'd like to help you some with the shelter. I said, what shelter? Because that's, that's, that's not personal. He said, doesn't matter, give us a call. What has turned into a community relationship has actually turned into a friendship and a partnership for me. And I could not have seen that in my journey. Organizations like Bridging comes along and they give you a smile, warms your heart. They provide the essential things that you, that you need to just feel like you're, in a, you're American and you have the American dream. And that is what changes communities.